Welcome back guys to a new video of Robo CNC. I'm Marcel. Um, today we're gonna start with the frame of the Robo CNC X2 router build. I'm gonna do this uh, series in, uh, in a two-part video um, and we're gonna start with the top side of the frame um, which we can also call the bed of the CNC router. Um, I'm gonna use item profiles. I'm going to use the item profile type 8 and this is the 18 millimeters by 18 millimeters natural type. Um, there's a, a drawing in the description with all the lengths and the holes that uh, has to be uh, have to be drilled and you can just order them from item24.com and they can also do all the machining and the drilling and stuff. As you can see, I'm using uh, some long rails of uh, one and a half meters and some short ones, uh, which are going to be spaces between the two. Um, this is a new type of bed design. I will uh, talk uh, more about that design later on because that's one of the big improvements on the machine. As I mentioned, um, there is a lot of cutting on these rails and there's a lot of drilling on these rails and I just uh, let item at the factory uh, do all this drilling and cutting and um, threading all the holes. It's just easier for me and uh, the drawings for that are in the description box below the video. From this angle you can also see it's a quite hefty type of profile. It's the natural type profile as I mentioned before and it's a 7.2 kilograms per meter profile. So for my purpose it's really really heavy and it's really strong. While I was turning this profile, you could see uh, the holes that were drilled in, in the long profile. Um, these are used to, uh, to lock these fasteners, as you've seen before. Um, make sure to take notice in the drawings that two of the uh, rails have uh, cross holes in them for the bed profiles that will be mounted later on. And two of them only have uh, the holes drilled from top to bottom which will be the top uh, rail profiles. So this one only has holes from top to bottom and the other ones at the bottom have cross holes for the bed frames. The fastening system is a really easy and strong fastening system. I really like it and really recommend to use this one. I will show it in uh, on this profile here. Um, they are called the standard fastening set 8 and I have the bright sink plated one. Um, basically it's a two part system. It's a, well, a lock slider and a bolt to uh, lock them into place. To use them, uh, you have to thread the ends of the profile and as I sh uh, told you, um, I asked item systems to just thread everything for me. Um, if you want to thread them yourself, that's, that's fine of course, use M8 thread and I've showed in a previous video uh, how you can do that. Basically you just... Uh, thread the bolts into the threaded holes and make sure to align all the, the flat pieces. After which you can just all tighten them up and then give them a, a quarter turn or a half turn back um, so loosen them up slightly. This way they can slide easily into the profile and 
Um, you only have to uh, tighten them uh, for half a turn when they are into place. So the last thing to do is the other profiles I talked about, the, what I call the, the bed profiles. And basically together this will be the machine bed. So this is where the material is going to lay down on. It's, a, it's a, bit, a bit of a struggle to get everything aligned and get it into place, but well, I think you get uh, the idea of it. The end of the video is, uh, is almost there, so hope you liked it, hope you learned something. Um, the drawing and the cut list is, into, is in the description box down below. Um, it's free if you want to follow up, so please uh, like the video, click the thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already and share it with your friends. In the next video I will build the, the bottom side of this, uh, this frame. Um, and afterwards we're gonna assemble uh, the rest of the machine so again hope you liked it thanks for watching